Some may say you can't appreciate slow living with children, but I beg to differ. He knows, and he rewards in his own good time. I think a quiet life like this often makes itself felt in better ways than one that the world sees and applauds. And some of the noblest are never known till the end, leaving a void in many hearts. If Rose had ever felt that the gift of living for others was a poor one, she saw now how beautiful and blessed it was, how rich the returns, how wide the influence, how much more precious the tender tie which knit so many hearts together than any breath of fame or brilliant talent that dazzled but did not win and warm. The lesson came to Rose when she was ready for it and showed her what a noble profession philanthropy is made her glad of her choice, and helped fit her for a long life of the loving labor and sweet satisfaction unostentatious charity brings to those who ask no reward and are content if only God knows. Louisa May Ellicott, Rose in Bloom. My life is for itself, and not for a spectacle. Do that which is assigned to you, and you cannot hope or dare too much. Ralph Waldo Emerson, Self-Reliance Children are not a distraction from more important work. They are the most important work. C.S. Lewis. Whether you have a homestead in the country or a small apartment in the city, may we as mothers take this opportunity to live slowly. Savor the moments with our babies as they grow and find ways to create beautiful memories with them and also set an example of taking life slowly, of not rushing through the days, of taking joy in our daily tasks and being grateful for the opportunity to even have them. May they learn from us to stop and smell the roses, to face the breeze, to take a deep breath, to be grateful for all that is around us, to savor the manna.
Likewise, older women are to be sanctified in demeanor, not backbiting or enslaved to much wine. Let them be teachers of what is good, so that they may train the young women to love their husbands, to love their children, to be self-controlled, pure, managing their household, kind, submitted to their own husbands, so that God's word may not be dishonored. Titus 2, 3 through 5. Thank you again for coming back to our humble homestead. We pray that this video encourages and inspires you. May Yah bless you and keep you. Shalom.